Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Food Finders and I'm back! Today we're going to talk about nasi lemak. Nasi lemak literally means in Malay, fatty rice. The most basic form of nasi lemak actually comes with this rice that is steeped in coconut milk and pandan leaves. It comes with uh, sambal chili, ikan belis as well as egg. There are a lot of variations depending on the chef. Most commonly in Singapore, you find a lot of fried chicken as well. Honestly, my favourite part of the nasi lemak is the fried chicken. For myself, I would be evaluating it a lot on the rice as well as the, the chili that's used. So how well it actually goes together. Alright, let's head off. So we're at Lawa Bintang, which is at Tampanese Street 93. This is what uh, Lawa Bintang became famous for, to serve lobster with nasi lemak. It's a little bit more on the pricier side because it's $22 yeah. for the lobster nasi lemak compared to his regular chicken nasi lemak, which is $3.50. The signature thing was the sprinkle that they have. So it's a Cajun inspired spice and herb sprinkle that they use. Sprinkle on my lobster and sprinkle yeah. on his chicken. Instead of having um, peanuts with the ikan bilis, they actually use flour, batter, crumbs. They use basmati rice instead of the short grain rice. I'm gonna try the ikan bilis first because I want to know what's so special about it. Ah, yeah. Oh, it is crispy. It does have that crunch. I like it. I'm not usually a peanut person. So this works for you, like the better. Yeah, I like the better. It's like a salty, crispy bite. The long grain rice, is drier, so it's less starchy. So that actually makes it complement the texture of the chili more because the chili sauce is, you know, wet. The coconut is quite distinct. Very fragrant. The sambal is like sweeter than I'm used to. It reminds me of, you know, that childhood snack that we ate with the tapioca chips and then got chili. I think we grew up in different, uh, <laughs> different eras. The chili is sweeter, but you can actually feel the spiciness coming at the back. I think the batter is really nice. I like it. It's really flavorful. The spice, that's more evident in the taste. Huh? But like the dried herbs itself, although you can see a little bit, like you can't really taste it. But on the inside, the flesh is a little bit bland. It's okay for me. Look at that. Mm. I'm struggling. Why am I so bad at this? Dude, I'm wearing <laughs> white. I always forget and then I wear white. Nice, nice, nice. You did it nice. Mmm! I think it's honestly quite decent. It's like a bit like nacho cheese, you know. So they mentioned that three types of cheese were used. I think it's well cooked. Um, really springy. So I guess this is kind of a play on lobster flamingo, but like you know the more budget version. Uh, <laughs> I agree, the meat is uh, still quite springy. I think they got the cooking quite accurate. I think between our two dishes, I still prefer the lobster. I'm more a bang for buck kind of guy. I would rather have like five chicken wings for the same price. I would give Lawa Bintang uh, three point five upon five. I will give Lawa Bintang a 3.5 as well. So I think it's slightly above average, uh, but not a like mind-blowing nasi lemak. All right, let's go eat more nasi lemak. So we are here at Old School Delights, which is located in Esplanade Mall. Here you have a very interesting concept. It is based off a school in Singapore. You will see benches, communal tables, yeah, and they serve traditional old school food. Their nasi lemak is one of their popular dishes. Both of us got the nasi lemak supreme. We have the ota fried chicken, and they have their prawn sambal. Then they even fry their own ikan bilis and peanuts here. It does look very bountiful. For 1080, it actually sounds pretty reasonable. In the Esplanade area as well, you can actually smell the fragrance of the coconut milk from the rice. It's a bit wetter because they're using the short grain rice. It's actually quite oily as well. It is very fatty, like the creaminess of it. So it's like a very full-bodied kind of rice. I like it. Can we try the sambal? It's like a tinge of sweetness. The spicy kick comes towards the end. I would actually think this is like mild spicy. My spice tolerance is not very high. So this is actually okay. They actually told us that their chili and their prawn sambal our family recipes pass down the line. So their chicken is marinated with uh, turmeric powder and curry powder. I like the skin. Yeah, it's just thin. Like it's not that thick batter. The spices are very prominent. The frying time and all is pretty spot on. And the flavours go through all the way. I don't know, to me, the prawn sambal spiciness is milder than their chilli actually. And I really like the prawn texture. They fry the ikan bilis fresh. It gives a very clean, crisp 
kind of texture. I love the gummy leaves. I like variety. So this is actually good because it gives you a large variety of ingredients. The ikan bilis and the rice actually goes quite well together because one is crispy, the rice is slightly on the softer, wetter side. So my favourite thing about this dish is the chicken. I think the stuff that they home make, these elements are all like really good. I think I would rate this a 4 out of 5. For the price and convenience and it's air con, there's quite a lot of different ingredients. I'll, I'll give it a 4. Yeah, I quite like it. Okay, let's head off to the next nasi lemak place. So here we are at the famous Boon Lay Pao Nasi Lemak. This is actually like Mahood. My friends and I come here for a supper like every now and then. For, uh, Open like, from 6am to 3am. It's still crowded though, at like 1am. Yes, yeah, there's always a line here. Yeah, always. Like, this is a highly raved about nasi lemak in the West. I have not tried this Pao Nasi Lemak before, but I think one of the reasons why it's called power is the right here. You can drive in the right here. Wow, damn power that one. So here we have the chicken set and it is $4. It comes with fried chicken, a fried egg, uh, some ikan bilis and peanuts, the sambal chili and you know, two slices of cucumber. It's really just straightforward nasi lemak. Like they're not trying to do anything fancy. It doesn't have a strong fragrance, but you can still taste the coconut. It is saltier to me, but like I think texture is about the same. It's a pretty unique sambal. Quite like it. There's like a subtle like acidity. It's spicy. It does taste Punchy. like some kind of dried fruit blended inside. <gasps> like raisin or like prune or something. Not super sure. I don't think they'll tell us the recipe. Yeah, I quite like it. Okay, you know what? I just love fried chicken. That's it. Like, I'm not like amazed by it, but I like the texture. Flavour is there. It's really just regular nasi lemak to me. It's simple, straightforward. It's not trying to be anything. It's just, it is what it is. And that's not a bad thing. Super crunchy. Yeah, to me it's a very typical fried chicken style. Everything so far that I've tried has been quite subtle. I thought because of the long queue, the fried chicken would be fresher though. Mine feels like it's been sitting here for a while. Fresh. Yeah, I... Yes, I, it's really <laughs> alright. Honestly, average for me. I still like it because it's simple. Biggest plus point for me is the sambal. I think the sambal is very unique. Uh, the rice is not bad as well. I would give Boon Lay Pao Nasi Lemak a 3 out of 5. What about you? I was gonna say three. Stop copying my answers. <laughs> Excuse me. I still think it's great comfort food. Time to get more nasi lemak in my stomach. We're now here at Chongpang Nasi Lemak, which is actually coming to 50 years of existence. You can see the Chinese style of nasi lemak is very jingji fan style, economic rice, where you can pick the ingredients that you want. So here we have the fried chicken wing, we have the ikan bilis, we have the fried ikan kuning and we have a fried egg. Okay, so this entire plate costs 370 which is actually very affordable in my opinion. Actually it's one of the most affordable nasi lemak we've had today. So they gave us what is apparently the crowd favourite, super busy, it's like very yeah. popular, long queues all the time, open from 5pm to 7am. This is a very popular midnight supper spot. Very mild smell and taste. Shall we try the chilli? Sweet. Definitely. Yeah, it's kind of sweet, a little sour. This one to me is a bit on the sweeter side. Yeah, but still that there's the kick to it. But it's a bit more watery or saucy. But going to the rice roll, I think it works. I like the chicken a lot. The flavor goes through Ooh. all the way. Wow, it's really crunchy. This yeah, fried chicken is damn good. Super juicy, has the flavor, crispy. This is like a five-star chicken. One thing I noticed about the ikan kuning, they battered the ikan kuning as well. So that probably makes it extra crispy. I don't know, let me try it. Yeah, it's crispier. Okay, oilier as well. But crispy. They can't believe this also. I believe they fry themselves. It's super crunchy. Very, very nice. But everything is a bit oily though, like fried, fried, fried. Not exactly very healthy. Why do we care about health? Right. Yeah, do we care about health, man? But if you do care about health, then probably not a great choice. I think that ikan bilis it provides like a great texture because it's extra crunchy. I would give Chongpang a 4.5. I actually quite like this. So for me, I think I'll give this place a 4 out of 5. The rice was alright to me. I don't know, maybe it's just that I like that jalak thing where there's more flavour. And yeah, the chilli could be a little spicier for me. Other than that, I really like the other stuff. Alright, let's head on to the next place. 
so we're here at Bali Nasi Lomak. Uh, it's been here since 1996. Why it's called Bali Nasi Lomak is because so the owner told me that last time she had a neighbor that was from Indonesia and always asked her to cook Indonesian styles of dishes like curries and stuff. She was since then influenced to come up with a lot of these dishes inspired by Indonesian cuisine. We have two different types of chicken. This is actually called the honey fried chicken and then there's just regular fried chicken. I'm really like excited about it because it's kind of different from the regular nasi lemak that we've had so far. So we're gonna try the ras. Mm, oh my god, what the heck? It's actually quite starchy, almost glutinous. It's the best rice I've had so far. Uh, very coconutty. Soft to the bite and like fragrant coconut. Bit sticky for my liking, but yeah, I do like the coconut. I like chili, very chunky, very spicy, mild sweetness. This is actually yeah. really spicy. My, on my second bite, I'm like, wow, my ears are getting red. <laughs> I bet my chicken will taste better than your chicken. Uh-huh. Yummy. That's pretty good though. Oh, that's really yummy. Swap seas. Yeah, I have some of my fried chicken. I think I like the sweetness in the chicken. This kind of reminds me of tasu for like the marinade. I prefer my chicken to Seth's chicken. I think I prefer the honey chicken over the fried chicken. I'm usually not a fried fish person. Oh, I like this one. I would recommend it to my friends who love fried fish. Yeah, pretty okay. It's not like soggy and stuff. Now this is like especially small, but it gives them a lot of like crispy texture. Look. I like this a lot. Eh? Like the crispiness of the chicken is spot on. All together, it's just even more amazing. Personally, I think they fried it a little long, so it's like getting to be a bit hard already in terms of like the batter. I really think it's a 5 upon 5 for me because like individually, the ingredients were good. Like they tasted good by themselves. And then when I put everything together, it's just like a party. It will be a 4 for me. The rice is probably the best we had today. It's not as impressed by the fried chicken, but okay, the honey chicken is pretty good. So we have come to the end of this nasi lemak episode. My favorite for the day would be Chongma Nasi Lemak. Bali came pretty close, but I think Chongpang in terms of pricing, the rice and oh the fried chicken absolutely blew my mind. And for me, it was easy. It was definitely Bali Nasi Lemak. For those of you who live in this area, like the Geylang area or the east side, you are so lucky. Alright guys, I hope you liked today's episode and I'll see you next time. Bye!